From extreme camouflage to sexual cannibalism, these pious-looking carnivores are as exquisite as they are fearsome. Learn more about these mysterious insects with these fascinating facts about praying mantises. Named for their prominent front legs that fold together in a gesture suggesting devotion, the praying mantis comes off as serene and soulful. They are not as docile as they appear. In fact, praying mantises are ambush predators with lightning-fast moves and many other extreme skills. Mantises are found on every continent except Antarctica. Of the 2,000 or so known species, most are between 1 to 3 inches in length. Some tropical species may grow to 8 inches or more, though. Mantises are the only insects capable of turning their heads from side to side. Being able to turn its head without moving the rest of its body is a key advantage for a mantis when hunting, allowing for minimal movement as it sneaks up on prey. Mantises have two eyes, but only one ear. Praying mantises possess stereo vision, and thanks to the placement of their eyes, they also have a wide field of vision. But strangely, the praying mantis has just a single ear, located on the underside of its belly, just forward of its hind legs. This means the mantis cannot discriminate the direction of a sound, nor its frequency. What it can do is detect ultrasound, or sound produced by echolocating bats. Studies have shown that praying mantises are quite good at evading bats. A mantis in flight will essentially stop, drop, and roll in midair, dive bombing away from the hungry predator. Not all mantises have an ear, and those that don't are typically flightless, so they don't have to flee flying predators like bats. They make swift work of their prey. Praying mantises wait to ambush or patiently stalk their prey, but once they're ready to strike, they do so with lightning speed, attacking with those big front legs so quickly it's hard to see with the naked eye. In addition, they have spikes on their legs to skewer and pin the victims into place. Mantises are closely related to cockroaches and termites. These three seemingly different insects, mantises, termites, and cockroaches, are believed to descend from a common ancestor. They are masters of disguise. Praying mantises are supremely gifted in camouflage. They come in the form of leaves and sticks and branches, like many insects, but also take it a bit further. Some mantises molt at the end of a dry season to become black, conveniently timing their transformation to coincide with the blackened landscape left by brush fires. The flower mantises are amazing, some wildly ornate, others looking so convincing that unsuspecting insects come to collect nectar from them and become dinner. They only eat live food. Praying mantises are carnivores with a taste for live food. They can provide some helpful pest control to gardeners, as they eat potentially destructive insects like beetles, crickets, and grasshoppers. However, they aren't picky eaters, they're also known to prey on helpful insects like native bees and butterflies, so their overall effect on pest control is difficult to predict. They are ambitious predators. Mantises don't stop at eating insects. They also target other arthropods like spiders, and sometimes even small vertebrate animals. Some mantises are known to prey on hummingbirds, for example, as well as warblers, sunbirds, honeyeaters, flycatchers, vireos, and European robins, in addition to frogs and lizards. They do have predators of their own. Even though they stalk hummingbirds and are masterful hunters, praying mantises are also hunted themselves. Their predators include frogs, lizards, and birds, as well as certain kinds of spiders. They engage in sexual cannibalism. Male praying mantises do not always survive the mating season. Between 13 and 28 percent of mating encounters end with sexual cannibalism, in which the female praying mantis bites off the head of the male and eats him. In a 2016 study, researchers found that females that cannibalized their male partner produced significantly more eggs than those that did not, suggesting that their cannibalistic behavior may increase the chance of reproductive success. Praying mantises mating usually begins during the fall for temperate climates, and in tropical regions, it may take place during any season of the year. Mantises have reproductive organs located at the edge of their abdomen. Many female praying mantises are flightless. Females attract their male mates with the help of a species-specific chemical called pheromone, and once both their intensities match, they are ready to mate. 
Female mantises deposit fertilized praying mantis eggs which range from 10 to 400 eggs, with the help of an ovipositor present at the tip of their abdomen. They place their eggs securely in twigs, stems, or leaves, with every egg packed in a praying mantis egg case identical to styrofoam. The egg case is known as oothica or praying mantis egg sac, which is made up of a foamy matter produced in the abdomen. Every egg is placed in separate compartments within the egg case or oothica, wherein every compartment has a one-way valve that permits the young ones to hatch easily. To avoid foreign parasitic insects, heat, birds, and reptiles invading, the oothica hardens. The life expectancy of praying mantises is dependent on their species and size, as generally, females live longer than males. Moreover, the smaller ones live for four to eight weeks, whereas the larger ones may live up to four to six months. The average lifespan of the praying mantis is one year, that is, they can live up to a year in suitable conditions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.